Hi, I'm Claire from The Kitchy Kitchen, and this is 10 Second Living, where I show you how to do practically anything in 10 seconds or less. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make French toast, also known as pan perdu. And French toast has a really soft spot in my heart for me because my auntie remakes it every time she visits from Australia. It's so delicious, and the trick with her recipe is she does not hold back on spice. And so the way I'm doing it, which is what makes it pan perdu, is it's sort of a two-step method. So to make it, I have my milk mixture. So for that, I have about a cup of half and half, cup of milk, vanilla, lots of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, I'm gonna grate right into it, about two tablespoons of brown sugar, big fat pinch of salt. And then I have my egg mixture, which is just three eggs. And so the trick is I'm gonna take my French toast, dunk it in the milk mixture so it soaks up all that flavor, and then I'm gonna finish it in the egg mixture so it gives it this really crunchy golden brown exterior. And just to really blow everybody's mind, I'm also going to stuff the French toast with cream cheese and apricot preserves from Comparte's Chocolatier. That's my buddy Jonathan. He makes really delicious stuff, and so I'm really excited to try this out. So, let's get started. Spread on cream cheese and jam to make a sandwich. In a bowl, whisk together everything but the eggs. Soak each sandwich in the milk liquid and then dunk in the eggs. Cook for three minutes aside. My French toast is done and it's covered in a ridiculous amount of maple syrup, which I think is appropriate. So I'm gonna give this a try. Mmm. Oh yeah, that was really good. Oh my gosh. It's intense, I recommend splitting it. This is a lot of food, but it's just so good. I mean, the sourdough has such a wonderful depth of flavor combined with cream cheese, really delicious jam. It's all good things happening right now and really, really delicious. For more recipes featuring this technique, check out my blog, thekitchykitchen.com and my new cookbook, The Kitchy Kitchen, available where books are sold.